yeah so that has been our moorings there for the last three weeks i don't know how this video will be edited so i don't know you if you know why we've been there or whether we've yet to tell you cheers everybody oh that that one i don't even know what it is deb poured this for me but that will i'll look at the empty bottle um i shall buy another one and i will be doing a review on is that it nice it is but i can't say no more than that okay it will spoil an upcoming video yeah yeah this uh, the format of this video is going to be a little bit different than our our normal ones you'll you'll get the gist of it as we go along but we left you last week mentioning that we um, needed a doctor's, a doctor's yeah. one of the questions we're always getting asked in our videos um, what do you do when you need a doctor we've always said we don't we do. we'll yeah we'll cross that bridge when we come to it well it's, that bridge it, is, came. it has come come to that bridge so we was on the river weaver at and, Northwich. Yeah, yeah. and Deb noticed a lump in her breast yeah so um, I think we'd mentioned in that video we was going to try and stay a little bit longer, but we just wanted to get back into Middlewich to, to, to find your doctors. Yeah, to to find to get doctors it seen to. and actually do some research online about the process we needed um, to get to a doctor's. Yeah, so we left the Anderton lift and went straight to. Oh, did we go straight to Bramble Cuttings? Yeah, yeah, um, we went Bramble straight Cuttings, which all in one seen. day. Yeah, yeah um, went straight to Bramble Cuttings um, and called. The doctors on the Monday, yeah, um, Monday morning. A doctor's in midway. I just picked one. This was Monday, uh, Monday the twenty eighth of, of September. Yeah, I just picked a doctor's. Um, they, they were, were okay. There was a little bit cagey, obviously, with the pandemic and everything. They're all a little bit more. It's a little bit more, more questions, yeah. etc. And for the those of you, if you've just joined us um we live on a narrow boat we constantly cruise so we have no address we are basically travelers of yeah. no fixed abode yeah so um i explained that she explained my situation she said a doctor will call you in a little while um so that was fine um the doctor did call back quite well in the yeah. afternoon yeah. um i explained everything to her and she gave me an appointment for the next day which is is crazy because I think the <laughs> you last... can't do that when you're a tum. No, a tum. We are a tum. <laughs> oh, a tum. We're, we're a tum on board. Um, when we was in bricks and mortar, you'd ring for a, an appointment, and we we've never been doctory type people. No. But you'd only ring if you desperately want to see the doctor, and then they would say we've only got something in, in two weeks' two time. Weeks time. time. So, but I mean, obviously, the situation being that it was it, it's let's see you and let's get yes, it sorted. Yes. So um, we, we had to leave Bramble Cuttings on Tuesday early hours of the morning uh, yes. to get to Middlewich. A very, I, I don't know whether I've actually got any video footage. I thought I did. Probably done my same old trick. Forgot to press the record button. But it was the first morning for a long while we needed to get up early and leave in the dark. And it was pea soup, wasn't it? It was it. The fog you couldn't was that You could see the end of the thick. boat. <laughs> and uh, it was so worrying with some of the the windy bits with the the reeds, but well, we got through. Yeah, we did. We got here got and back here to the moorings just below Big Lock. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, I went to the, I went to the doctors. Um, it was very surreal because I hadn't visited a doctors or anything like that um, in this this pandemic that we're in. Um, it was very surreal, um, but I saw the doctor. She said, yes, um, it needs to be sorted. Um, my secretary will call you later on today with an appointment for the breast care unit at the local hospital, Leighton Hospital in Crewe. Um, and I left there sort of a pr pr pretty gobsmacked. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah I, I just quick. expected to yeah. go, oh, it's, it's okay, you, it's nothing, <laughs> and you, that was it. Yeah, you had to, I think the, the main concern was um, because the lump was fixed, it wasn't, yeah, wasn't moving about. Yeah, it was fixed about. and yeah. not moving so, about, yeah. And, and like, like the lady said, um, we don't want to worry you, but what we tend to do 
we treat everything as worst case scenario. Yeah. Um, which is brilliant. So they just push you through the system to get your scene, which is really, really good. Yeah. And got an appointment. Well, they called and made me an appointment for the breast care clinic that day for the following Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. We've got this written down Wednesday? here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. For Wednesday. For the following Wednesday. Yeah. So you was at the doctor's Tuesday, um, the 29th, and they'd got you an appointment for. Wednesday the 7th at the breast clinic which I was really chuffed about yeah um yeah so I got the appointment and um the only worrying thing for me was that Mark couldn't come with me due to Covid it's yeah he couldn't, the... couldn't. so I had to go to a strange hospital uh in a place I've never visited before in a taxi um and that's another story that cost an absolute yeah, yeah. And a leg. due to the distance we are can't fault the taxi company oh no Brilliant. definitely not no we have a little online app with the company we can book it it comes, it's not Uber. Um, it West com- Side Taxis. It comes in crew. In crew, yeah. yeah. So shout out for West Side Taxis yeah, and crew. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, very pleased with the service you've provided so far. Um, don't know where I was going with this. Yeah, you get your little app, you can book it online, um, you'll get a message, it'll tell you who's coming, the yeah. car registration, the driver. Yeah. Yeah, so. So, so off I went um, to place that I'd never been before um, and that was again another surreal Some as I walked into the, the the doors open I don't know where I'm going so I said you know outpatients went to outpatients then I went to the clinic and what we'd already been told was um, they will do any tests they need yeah. to do there and then and it was a yeah. 4.30 appointment was it something yeah. like that yeah, it was. For, which we thought a little bit late in the day, but they said, if you need mammograms, you'll have like mammograms. If you need ultrasounds, you'll have ultrasounds. If you need a biopsy, they do the biopsy there, there and, and then. Yeah. And you had all three. Yeah. 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 And, bit um, of a shock. Um, yeah. The, but it, it was okay. Yeah. But, and everybody was absolutely wonderful. It, it was really, really lovely. It, it I, I felt so comfortable. I didn't feel um, scared or... or overwhelmed in any way you know it was it was really really nice um and i had the biopsy done which um hurt <laughs> you said the actual anesthetic no, it's, needle yeah, hurt more it, than the yeah yeah the, the biopsy um but yes i had that and then it was just um you was told it could be up to two weeks for yeah. your biopsy results yeah yeah and pff, you can imagine what's going for our minds yeah. it's, it's mm. hor- horrible um yeah, worrying. Yeah. yeah, so they said I'd wait two weeks, and I didn't. I only waited, I think it was five days, yeah. Um, yeah. and I got a call to say, uh, your results are in, and can you come back on the 16th of October um, for your results? So I said, yeah, okay, um, but I really didn't want to go on my no, own. But really if, if it was if it was bad, if it was going to be bad news, the thought of Deb being there by herself. Yeah. So we we said, well, I'll come along in the taxi with you, yeah. and we'll see just how far through the hospital I can get. Mm. Um, explain to the um, the lady at the entrance door who fires the yeah. gun at you. Yeah, yeah. 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 So and she like, was like, she's... "No, you're not allowed." I went, "Yes, he is." Yeah. She said, <laughs> I was uh, yeah. Pretty... Then Deb just said, "I'm coming for." Some I'm coming results. for some results, so and she went, through. "Oh, okay." You were then going to the department where there's an, another small waiting room with the chairs two meters apart. I think there's only six chairs in there. Yeah. And you said to the the lady at the desk, "I'm here for um, my results, biopsy results." And is it right if my husband stays sits here? Yeah, sat two meters apart. We, we couldn't sit yeah. together. We had to sit two meters apart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but when the lady called my name, um, I asked, asked if I her come through. if Mark could come through. I went through into the room, and she went, "Oh, she went. I don't. I don't know." She went, "You're actually the first woman to actually ask this since the pandemic." So imagine all those women that have gone for their results, oh, scared yeah. out of their wits on their own because they thought they couldn't take their husband or partner or somebody with them for moral support. But she said she would ask the doctor. She went off um, and came back and said, yes, um, your husband can come in. So she called Mark in and sat down and we sat there and we waited. And then the doctor walked in uh, with another nurse and that's when I knew... It's Katie, the Macmillan nurse. Yeah, that's when I knew um, something was wrong. So, 
um, but they were really nice, ever so nice. Um, I have. Yeah, so the doctor told me um, that I have breast cancer. Um, I've got invasive ductal cancer. And uh, the, the level of compassion that you've got the, the doctor and the Macmillan, Macmillan nurse and us in this very small room and we're all all face masked up and it's it was just surreal. Yeah, it, it was, was. It was a really, was. really weird, weird experience. Um, yeah, I can't really explain it yeah. it's it's going in and it's it, yeah she yeah. but she did explain that all that she was saying will most probably not sink in straight away anyway um but she said that there are um like with breast cancer you've got the is it three three grades the type not, is it the yeah. type of cancer there's, the three there's grades so many di and what we don't want to do is give out the wrong information because, no. like I said, the idea of doing this these type of videos is that somebody will gain something from them. Um, we've got no end of books yeah. that they give us that they recommend. These are linked to websites. I'll put the links to all those down below. But there's different types of breast cancer depending where it is. Yeah. There's, then there's in situ and then there's invasive. And then there's the grade. Now, yeah. they grade it on how the cells divide, in which speed, grade one, being the, the slowest, grade two, and then obviously grade three, um, the fastest. Well, Deb being Deb, has got uh, grade three. Yeah. Um, she's got the invasive. So it's, um, the actual diagnosis was grade three, mm. invasive ductal cancer. cancer, triple negative. Well, when she said the triple negative bit, um, that went over my head and I thought, oh, triple negative. A negative is normally a good thing, but uh, the, the negative isn't. It's, again, the worst case scenario. Yeah, there's, <laughs> they do they do a test on the cells at the path lab um, and depending on um, how these cells react to certain things will depend on the type of treatment they will have to have. Um, they tested it for three things that they can treat it for and that, came back negative on all of those yeah um, and i think it's estrogen uh, prostrogen and an hrp2 i should put that there because i don't want to say it wrong um so which means i've got to have chemotherapy yeah yeah so yeah we're looking at once we get the date for your operation we're looking at four weeks after that yeah you've then got 18 week 18 weeks of chemotherapy and then four weeks after that, anything up to five weeks of radiotherapy, depending. Um, but it all depends on when I have my operation as to whether they get all the cancer yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, if they don't, then I'm going to have to go back and they're going to have to take more, take or... more, or or maybe do a mastectomy or or whatever the case may be. Fingers crossed, they get everything, and and in my lymph nodes as well, they get everything. Yeah, they they um, they do a test to identify where the sentinel lymph nodes are and these are the, the first lymph nodes that would pick up if the cancer was spreading throughout the body and they can do a test to identify those and they're going to take those lymph nodes out and to double check yeah. and so apparently in the scan it looks like they haven't the, the cancer the hasn't ultrasound, gone in yeah, 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 hasn't gone into my lymph nodes yeah. but that again is that was a couple of weeks ago and be, being fast growing they still have to double check yeah, yeah. so fingers crossed it hasn't got there yet and uh, that that'll be brilliant um but apart from that yeah i shall have the operation and then um wait two weeks for the results which will be yeah bloody yeah, it, awful it, yeah, it has it has been a <laughs> been a waiting game of course yeah. bloody help the, the amount of tissue we got through and <laughs> It's, we have our dark moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our dark moments, and and it's difficult to talk about the the bad part of it um, because there is a bad part. I've got the worst case scenario. I've got the worst case of cancer, and but but there are so many positives yeah, to look at as yeah. well. So it's it is Catch, catching these things early. early yeah, yeah. we. We was actually going to. We was planning to go back to see the kids back in Kings Lynn, Christmas time. And with us, that would have been. Well, what I'll do, I'll make an appointment. 
when we get back. Yes. Which is which, which would have been me October, normally. October, November. That would have been two, three months. Yeah, but I don't know what what so, told me not to. I, I don't know what told me not to, but it was it was that. It, you know, I got I got Mark to feel it as well and said, "What do you think?" And he said, "No, let's let's her on the side of caution and see a doctor now." Plus, we wanted to see how that whole scenario played out anyway with yeah. the doctors because yeah, we we'd never done it. Yeah, before. we didn't know whether we was going to turned away. Um, I should put some links again below of the um, the .gov website um, that will take you through the process of contacting a doctor. The form you have to fill out. I had to become a te temporary patient, mm. and um, but any any questions, please, please yeah. put the questions. the the whole pro the whole process has been yeah absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I cannot fault one the doctors here in Middlewich and two Leighton Hospital, and how lucky we are to have the NHS the yeah. way we have yeah. it, you know. And and I I cannot fault it in any way, shape, or form. You know, they have been absolutely brilliant. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it was just a case of waiting for the operation date. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what's today's date, Deborah? The 22nd of October. And what just happened? Um, just got a, a phone call for... Yeah, hang on, sorry. Right. Back now, tissues in hand. <laughs> yeah. Just got the telephone call for my operation, which is next Wednesday, the 28th of October. Um, we've only just finished doing yeah, we've the just, waffle. Yeah, if you, if you actually go back to uh, Friday's vlog, which depended on when, you, when you're watching this, um, we've just sat down, edited the video, we're talking in the video, um, we was doing the watch through when the doctors rang. Yeah. Um, normally when we sat here, I've checked light levels, I've got my <laughs> camera on the tripod, but because this this section of our journey is going to be a little bit more of a video diary, yeah. it's going to be, a, as it happens, off the cuff. And uh, yeah, so it, it makes it a little bit more real. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, back again. Makes it a little bit more real, which ho hopefully... We was, other, we, what other... we want, it's just sort of like comes along and it just slaps yeah. you. You know, it's just like, it is what I want. I just want it and the re over and done with. Yeah, the reason for doing this in a, in a more of a off-the-cuff um, diary type style is maybe to help other people who are going through a similar thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, we're we're normally very upbeat, and uh, and we still are. Still are, still yeah, are. still are, yeah. yeah we we, we always are. always manage to um, put a a positive on every negative. Uh, this is uh, is a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say right now. No, no, apart from um, I'm I say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm, I'm glad that yeah, I've got this, the date. I'm I'm glad it's here now. Yeah, this is the well the. We've been waiting. One of the one of the first steps <coughs> on the rest of our our journey. So yeah. uh, the big uphill yeah, journey. Yeah. What's tonight, Deborah? It's um pizza night. Pizza night. And what do we do on pizza night? We got pizzas. Make homemade pizzas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna and imagine that music's on and we're dancing. Radio's off because um, YouTube will give us a copyright strike. Yeah. I will add some music in the background later. Feel a rumba coming on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wouldn't know a rumba from rheuma rheumatism. <laughs> yeah, so after um, having homemade pizzas made by Fran from floating our boat, we've never bought another pizza. No. Um, being vegetarian, not a lot of meat goes on to these. So, onions, mushrooms, olives, peppers. Um, vegetarian, not vegan, so we've still got mozzarella cheese, jalapenos. Uh, tomatoes and Deb makes her own pizza dough which is very nice we shall uh, uh, show you how to do that in a minute and it's strictly night tonight so all the disco lights are on I haven't got my strictly ball anymore I gave that away to my uh, great niece mm. stuff my mouth with peanuts <laughs> pointy finger excuse all the washing in the background we're moving the boat tomorrow filling up with water so we've just done a load of washing, get that out of the way with. 
fake dancing to the music. As I said, we'll add the music. <laughs> it's just a bog standard quick pizza dough. It's just the, I just got it off the internet. Um, I'm, I'm just here for show. <laughs> for just 400 grams of flour, seven grams of yeast, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of caster sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and 225 mils of lukewarm water. Bung it all together, knead it for a minute or two, then leave it for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back to you. Can I sit there, please? And this is where we have to ask the dog's permission yeah. to sit on our own chairs. Thank you. Baby, oh, you keep making it shine. I'm in love with how you talk, baby. My ears craving the sound. Yeah, you're like a painting hanging on my every move. Baby, you say. there you have our homemade vegetarian pizzas. Yeah, so we've topped the pizza, that then has to rest for 10 minutes and then goes in the oven, gas mark nine, for about 10 minutes and you've got a lush pizza. Yeah, very, very nice. And we do, we do two of them, we do one and uh, by the time we've eaten that, bunged the other one in, the other one's ready. Yeah. Yes, but we're now gonna watch Strictly. Well, that's the first one ready. <laughs> Ten minutes. Wow. That's my one. Second one now going in. I normally do this, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming. Oh, there we go. Right, we've had a, a wonderful strip evening. That's all over now. Um, the last glass of wine sat here in my throne in which no other man nor beast may encroach. Well, I say no other man nor beast, apart from these two, this is my normal position for the evening. Um, all three of us are pretty uncomfortable, but they won't have it anyway, any other way. Anyway, back to the dinette and I'll tell you what's happening tomorrow. It was a, a late one for us to be sat in it front is of the camera. a very late 10 one. 10 o'clock, we've just watched um, Strictly, but because we was behind on making the pizzas, oh sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because we was mm. behind on making the pizzas, we had to, had to watch it on catch up. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so we're uh, very impressed for week number one, especially yes. with the socially distanced. Mm. Yeah, and I'm not paid by the BBC to promote Strictly Come Dancing. Other dancing programmes are available. Are they? <laughs> no, I don't think they are, are they? <laughs> oh. So what's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, um, I've been booked in for a COVID test for um, before my operation. On which, Wednesday, which has been a bit of a worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the wonderful, wonderful um, David from Narrowboat Snow Goose, I'm so grateful yeah. that he's he's actually again gonna, boat yeah. and community pulling yeah. together. He's going to pick me up and take me because you have to drive through, have your COVID test, and then drive out. And we weren't sure whether we could get a taxi to do that. Um, but David is just he's. Yeah. Yeah. When when they when the the hospital rang and said um, you, your COVID test is booked for um, two forty two forty five. Um, we need to know what car you're coming in, and we said, yeah. well, we don't mm. know. And they said, well, we need to know. We need to know registration. Well, we don't own a car, so apparently you can't to a drive through COVID test. You can't walk yeah. through, and we didn't know how the um, uh, taxi was going to be when we if we rung a taxi and said we need to. Yeah, yeah, go do for a, big a COVID trip. For a I mean, COVID it's a pretty, test. pretty big thing to say to a taxi driver. We need to. Uh, can you drive me through for a COVID test? Um, and yeah, that that whole whole scenario is like you try and explain you haven't got or you don't think you have COVID. It is just a basic test just before the, your operation. Yeah, one of the three of you had your bloods done the other day. Yeah, and bits so, and pieces. So, um, rather than take that risk, David has stepped up and yeah. bless his yeah. heart. Big thank you, David. Yeah. That's thank one you, I, David. And I did, I did actually, because he put a picture of his very dirty white car on Instagram, and I did say that I would wash it, and yeah. he said no, you will wash it twice. So I, I there owe you, you go. Two, two car washes. That's David. on Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, so hopefully tomorrow, 
we'll I'll just yeah. go through, have the COVID test, and then Wednesday's the day. Yeah, Wednesday's the day, but we'll pick up yeah. with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. So as you can see, we still like to keep a, a level of normality. Of yeah. course. Yeah, strictly. Yeah. yeah that, is a, that is a must for us, yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah. You, Life life goes on and, and, and it's, it's everything's fine. That, that is that is a typical sat Saturday evening. Yeah, and we we don't normally video that, but because for the last four or five weeks we haven't been cruising, huh? other than to move uh, to get water, um, we haven't been cruising. So uh, yeah, it's a whole all new experience for me to try and come up with something uh, interesting. Yeah. Plus, we wanted to show you that we are we are being positive. Yes, we are yes, being strong. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that that that's really all there is to it. Yeah, so it's just a matter of um, getting the operation out of the way, um, and then obviously the two week wait. Yeah, and fingers crossed, um, the results from that will come back as as best as can be yeah. expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the time this video is, um, you'd have you'd have had your operation. Yeah, because yeah. today today is, is Monday. Monday, and you have your operation Wednesday. Wednesday. I shall probably upload this um, tomorrow or, or whatever. Then, then I haven't got to worry about video editing or anything. I'll just concentrate. On... <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So I can just concentrate on looking after uh, my first mate. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit tough because obviously living on a boat, um, you. Our whole, our whole um, next six months to a year cruising is going to uh, totally change and what what mm. we're doing but we're going to cover all cover that in, all in that. the next next video the logistics in, in that involved in that is uh Tremendous. pretty frightening pretty expensive but hey ho <laughs> yeah. we'll get it get it all sorted yeah. and um yeah but we will we will be staying tuned as long as you're still wanting yes, us yes yeah and yeah. like i say any any comments or anything um yeah, I'm becoming very educated on the national health system and uh, Mark is a massive Dev has, Googler. Yeah, yeah. What Dev? I do love an instruction book. I've got an in instruction book on. An, unfortunately, I wouldn't be surprised if he could do the breast, operation himself. Breast kit. Um, that's about it for this week. It is. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry to hit you with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but wanted to tell you. Life, to life put it throws out there. us all these uh, curveballs. Yeah, and uh, it's how we deal with them and come out the other side. Yes. So, uh, um, big, big thanks to some new supporters on the channel this week. Keith Teasdale, thank you so much, yeah. Keith. Oh, massive thanks, Keith. This, this is really going to come in handy. And, and Greg, 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 Greg Ward, Ward. Yeah, yeah. Same thank to you, you so much. That's really, really yeah. appreciate it. And all our existing um, patrons and PayPal supporters, thank you. Yes, and all our subscribers. All the subscribers, yeah. And all the ones who are going to subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> We'll get this in one take. If you like the video, press the like button. And that doesn't mean you like the fact that we're going through some crap. You know, yeah. you just liked us in the video. Um, if you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice. Um, you work that one out. <laughs> um, if you want future notifications of any other bed vid, you want take two. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got it in one. If you want future notifications of any other videos we upload, press the bell icon. Oh, I know I forgot to mention the subscribe button. If yeah, you haven't already subscribed, subscribe button. yeah, press that and comments, guys. Yes, love your comments. And, and we will see you next week. Yeah, bye. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. <laughs> We've, Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've just put all my camera away, so I've just had to grab it back out. We forgot one of our patrons. Yeah, Matt, Matt Brown. Brown. Thank yeah, you so, thank so you, Matt. much. Um, Head's not quite where it should be at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I actually got undressed. I uh, was then about to get in the shower. Deb said, we've got Matt Brown. So I put my T-shirt back on. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to see what's down below. Um, but I'm now going to get in the shower. Bye. Bye.